The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, has been groping airline passengers for about 15 years now, ever since the September 11th attacks inspired the United States to form a single government agency to catch terrorists before they hijack planes. In that time, TSA agents have caught approximately zero terrorists. In all fairness, though, in the first 10 years alone, 400 agents were arrested for stealing travelers' items. Wait, actually, that doesn't make them sound better, does it? Let me try this again. In all fairness, since 2004, at least 16 accused terrorists have flown 23 times through U.S. airports without being stopped by the TSA once. Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't sound too great either. Let me try one more time. In all fairness, the TSA has spent $1.7 billion in taxpayer money on a surveillance program with zero scientific research to back up its supposed effectiveness. Oh man, I'm just making it sound worse now, aren't I? In 2007, the TSA introduced SPOT, or Screening Passengers in obs- by Observation Techniques. Uh, I guess nobody was buying that because now it's called a much more scientific sounding name, Behavior Detection and Analysis, which I guess would be shortened to BDA, which makes it pretty obvious why they went with that uh, instead of Behavior Analysis and Detection, which really would fit better because it's bad, B-A-D bad. The program makes officers use a checklist to score air passengers on their likelihood of being a terrorist. The list contains items like wearing a disguise or whistling nonchalantly, making one wonder if the list was based on a Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon someone once saw. That's what the ACLU wondered, so they sued the TSA under the Freedom of Information Act to hand over all of the research they had backing up their program. And what they recently got back was over 13,000 pages of documents, amongst which were scientific and academic literature. The problem? Much of that literature actually directly contradicted the TSA's program, like one study that concluded, despite decades of research to maximize the accuracy of deception judgments, high stakes lies, judgments of unsanctioned lies, judgments made by long-term acquaintances, all revealed detection rates within a few points of 50%, or the rough equivalent of flipping a coin. The ACLU reported that numerous studies the TSA turned over found that people trained to detect lies actually are worse at detecting lies than untrained people. Not only was there no convincing scientific evidence to be found in the TSA's files, but the ACLU found that the TSA has actually been lying to Congress, claiming the opposite in order to continue getting funding. The entire ACLU report is astonishing, and I encourage you to read the entire thing. Uh, I'll just point out one other tidbit. The documents that the TSA happily turned over included a an official presentation on female suicide bombers that was titled Femme Fatale and stated females tend to be more emotional and therefore easier to indoctrinate. Wow, that's fun. Obviously, I mean, the sexism is minor compared to all of the racist stuff that was in there, uh, making it easier for TSA agents to target Muslims. So you can check all of that out. But I just thought that was a really fun little fact. So yeah, check out the ACLU report to find out what $1.7 billion of your money has been wasted on. And then call your Congress critter. You could tell them about that. You could tell them about any of the other dozen other disasters currently taking place, but really just call them. It's nice to remind them that you exist.